Hello YouTube, D. Baudry here. Thought I'd show off something I just finished doing. So this is one of the motor side covers for one of the two hub motors that goes to my Dualtron City stand-up scooter. Uh, it's not particularly fast. Um, you know, Dualtron says it's 3950 watts and I would have to say it's probably more like say 2500 watts at most. Um, and it's of course not very fast, doesn't accelerate particularly well. So yes, I'm going to make it much faster, much more powerful, because you know right now it's lame. Anyway, so uh, this is that side cover which I am venting because I'm going to run the motor harder and it's going to get warm. So I need to be able to get heat out of it. And I've made that piece, that part, I mean, all those vent holes in there, with my tool post grinder, which has a four millimeter mill in it, and my rotary table on my mini little machine chop 7500 mini lathe. So essentially how this works, and I'll now roll this bad boy in, is start out right about here. So you can see that the, the mill has a little clearance behind there, uh, probably two millimeters or so. It's just enough so that uh, you know when it's running I can turn this and be completely clear. And you'll notice right here there's a mark on the front of the uh, compound for it's all the way back position. So what I have to do is back out to that mark and I know I'm going to clear here and then I can rotate around. But uh, first thing I need to do is if I do this in two passes. The first one is a rough pass and I don't go to the full uh, plus and minus 10 degrees uh, around the center, you know, 60 degree increments all the way around because there's six of these open vent holes. And I don't go all the way out or all the way in on my first pass because I'm hugging out material and as you can see it's fairly thick. It's uh, you know probably five millimeters thick, six millimeters thick, something like that. Yeah, probably six millimeters thick. So there's a fair thickness of material to be hugging out with a four millimeter end mill. So I kind of want to take it easy and then also in the center here you can see that it's actually a good bit thicker. That's probably like eight millimeters thick there. So I don't want to be uh, hogging out two dimension on the first pass because there is some chance of chatter and movement and things like that. So my first pass I'm slightly inside dimensions. So I'm minus one degree on either side of the arc and I'm about uh, ten thousands in on either of these inside and outside dimensions. So my first pass is like that, but uh, now I'm at the point where, you know, I'm, I'm going to do my final pass. So the first thing I'm going to do, oh, by the way, <clears throat> you can see in here I've marked in and out. <laughs> and uh, up here you can see I've marked R and F for forward and reverse. And of course on the dial it says forward and reverse too. And that's basically so I don't fuck up. Um, because that's quite possible. You know, you're, you're doing the same uh, pattern twice. Uh, the first one is a rough pass, the finished one is a, you know, just a final cleanup pass. But uh, yeah, the chances of, you know, turning a handle wrong or whatever is not that hard to do. So it's much easier just to mark everything as you go this way to do this motion and then mark everything, you know, like that. Forward is that away and reverse is that away. <laughs> that way it can't screw up so easily. Anyway, uh, so here I am, let's pretend like I'm doing my final pass. So I'm going to bring in the cross slide, I'm sorry, the compound, and it's going to just clear because I've just done this one. And I need to get it inside there, there we go, so now she's down. And now what I'm going to do is come over here, and also I've got this set to zero. In other words, I'm at my outermost dimension on here. So I'm going to come over here and this says zero, 00 and I'm exactly 110 degrees. So now I'm going to turn this forward. There we go. Turning it forward. And there's 10 degrees. And I'm coming up on 130 degrees on there. And bring it right around to zero, 00 again. So up here it says zero, 00 and right here I'm right on 130 degrees. So if I just depend on this, I'm close. But doing the, the zero marks on here, I'm dead on every single time. So back over here, now you can see the mill is in that upper corner. And next thing to do is to start cutting this surface in that way. So the, uh, the mill is only got about, what, 10 millimeters worth of cutting surface on it. 
and I'm going up this slope so I have to back out the compound as I go and then I count in so there is one two three four five I'm sure this is fascinating six seven eight nine and you can see I'm about out of flute now <laughs> so I need to back out the uh, compound again anyway keep going in back out this some more because you know I've only got so much cutting surface to work with on the on the mill and uh, I think that's 13 yeah there we go 14 and 15 and now I don't know how well that shows up but I am dead nuts into that corner in there you know and I've, all I've done is counted the number of turns on this dial and the number of degrees over there all right so now the same thing happens again so now I need to go reverse same thing again so right now I'm at 130 degrees here and zeros there so now I'm gonna go reverse so there's 10 degrees and there's coming up by 20 degrees and back to double zeros on the tenth scale so I'm back there and now I am dead nuts into that corner right there. Guarantee you there is no deflection on this bit. I can do this absolutely blind because, well, everything is dead nuts, right? <laughs> and then now what I need to do is come out this way because, you know, th this would be like the cleanup pass right here on that surface. So again, I'm going to come out 15 full turns. So down here, and again, out is that a way, in is that a way. So <clears throat> there is one, there's two. There's three, four, five, six, seven. And of course, you know, if I'm cutting this, I'd be wanting to bring the mill back in too, because otherwise I'm gonna leave a little shoulder there then get keep going, 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 hurry up. And I'm gonna put the mill in now because I'm really close. There we go. And so there's 14, and there is 15 turns. And as you can see, once again, I am dead nuts in that corner, exactly where it should be. You know, I, I am turning the mill, or the, uh, you can see I'm just using my fingertips. It takes hardly any force at all. And it's because I am exactly in that corner. So that's how I made all six of those openings. A, a rough cut pass and then a final pass. And it's all a matter of counting in and out 15 and counting plus and minus 10 degrees around the 60 degree increments to get that. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs>